about how did it happen? Why did it happen? You know, whose fault is it? How is this possible? But ultimately we have to see everything with spiritual vision and, and understand that it is all happening by the will of the Lord. And, and you know, of course here, you know, we, we are the ones who are left in a difficult situation, you know, losing, losing such a great Vaishnava. But we have to think of him and his eternal journey and his relationship with our Guru Varga and with, with Mahaprabhu. You know, he is continuing on. You know, he, he is, you know, his, you know, really his, his service is unparalleled, you know, within our, within our devotional family. And, you know, he, you know, he will, he will, he will no doubt continue on more gloriously in his relationship to our Guru Dave and his uh -huh. to, our, to our Guru Dave. You know, Guru Dave, he, he once gave the example of, uh, you know, in India, there are these big fire ants. And if they bite you, <laughs> you're, you're, you know, you'll, you'll, you'll swell up, you know, they're very painful. And, and, but, but one characteristic they have is that if they, if they, if they like sink their, <laughs> sink their teeth into you, then they'll never let go. You know, e even if they would rather die, you know, so, so if you pull them off, if they, they'll, they'll, their body will split, but they won't let go. And so Gurudev, he, he said once that, that we should serve with that kind of spirit. And, and you know, I, I have to say, you know, Srila Chajra Maharaj, he, he, he's the only person who I, I know, you know, who truly embodies that, you know, to the, to the, you know, to the most extreme degree, you know, his, his, his affinity for service was something so extraordinary. And in some ways, I don't feel so qualified to say anything about Maharaj because my, my relationship with him was, was different than it was with most of the devotees in our mission because, you know, I really thought of him as a brother and, and you know, we served in Navadip together. And, uh, you know, I, I, I was his secretary for some time. I helped him with his letters. So, you know, I, I saw him in a, in a different way <laughs> than most of our devotees. Um, and, and, you know, he's, he's really like a, like, like a family member. And, and I, saw up, I saw up close, you know, what, what, in, what you know, extreme attention he had, you know, to, to every detail of the running of Gurudev's mat. That, that was actually one of Gurudev's comments, right? He, he said, he mentioned that in his declaration about a charge of that he, he said his greatest quality is that, is uh, what someone here will remember better, but, but about how he gives so much attention to every inch of the mat, you know? You know, every, every detail was under his, his scrutiny. And, and he, you know, he, he, he could have a, a gruff exterior <laughs> at times, but underneath that, he had a very deeply affectionate heart. And, and that's also something that, that Gurudev um, observed and, and something that we, that we experienced, you know. And, and in, his, you know, in his earlier years, you know, when he became the Acharya, then there had to be some type of change. But in his earlier years as the mat manager, you know, he would, he would you know, take people personally to hospital, you know, going to people's rooms personally to check on things. You know, he had he had such a deeply caring and attentive, you know, heart for the care of, of everyone. And, you know, finally, as 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 uh, David Shishu said, you know, we have to we have to carry on. You know, uh, you know, our you know, because there there were, wasn't any preparation. You know, then then you know you know that you know at least in these situations, normally there's some type of preparation to such a moment, but this has come as such a great shock and in the middle of this mad COVID situation in the world. So, so our concern is, is, that, is very much that the devotees will be able to find the strength to continue. And, and you know, just think of what, what a charge of March would say, you know, you know as, as he, he, he would joke, you know, you know, you know, he would joke about people not being able to tolerate his chastisements. <laughs> but, 
So think, think of, think of his expression. If, if anybody, if, if anyone wants to give up, you know, don't give up. You know, you have to think of his, you know, think of his deep attachment. Think of how much, how much he wanted all of you to continue. Um, and so, you know, every everyone must must think of him and find the strength to to carry on. And we must see in the broader picture that this is all the, you know, due to the higher will of Guru and Garanga. Um, so I'll, I'll stop there. There's many, many devotees here. Um, and, and also, as David Shishru said, you know, we, we want to, you know, for whatever, with whatever little we have, we want to offer our support um, to, to everyone who's, who is, you know, facing this, this situation. So, you know, with whatever little I have, I, I'm here for, for everyone. Um, and we pray we can continue with even more determination on the on the path. Jai Shri Bhakti Nirmala Charjana Jai. Jai. So um, what I would like to invite all the devotees to say something. So if in the um, your Zoom you can anyone who wants to speak, if you please raise your hand, you know, the digital hand, so to say, then we can unmute you so you can um, speak something in glorification of uh, Srila Acharya Maharaj. Anybody? <laughs> I know it's difficult um, to speak in front of everybody, but it is, sometimes it is very cathartic to say something and um, to express your inner heart. Actually, it's part of uh, the process of our devotional life is that we try to share our inner heart with everybody um, with, with the Vaishnavas. Dandava, Dandava to everyone. Can you hear me? Yes, I was really we're in shock, still we are in shock to, with this news. I mean, everyone is unable to understand what's going on and we are still waiting for the body to come. They are, they are, you know, leaving everything, all their jobs and everything to come and join today on this program. To honor Silachaya Dev and to glorify him and um, there are quite a few devotees in the kitchen making a feast and so they can you know, probably make this uh, festival in his honor. Um, I mean, uh, it's very hard for everyone. I, I don't know what to say. I mean, yes, it's hard for Yes, thank you. Uh, Great. Well, what Saraswati said, we heard this very sad news uh, today and we were not prepared at all. But this came so suddenly, and um, we are still in a, in a very, very deep sadness. And but simultaneously, we that is like we also uh, have had such a beautiful um, example in our life by Sila Acharya Dev like in so many ways that. His devotion and his dedication and his love for for his Gurudev and our Gurudev Siva Bhakti Suna Govinda Maharaj. It was so strong and and he had so much drive to to um, satisfy the Guru with our Guru with, in so many ways. And to have seen that, we I've never seen that so much in a, in, in in one person. That again, so we all know so many challenges in his life, so much, so much difficulties, and he he had so much drive to go through all the challenges and and still be so uh, giving us that enthusiasm and that happiness that Krishna consciousness is is is, is giving was giving him and and, and the mercy of his good and. But we also, you know, by his grace and Gurudev's grace, 
we experienced that and um, yeah it, 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 we, we feel actually this, this morning we were so sad that we had to do the, the uh, morning program and we were crying and it was so sad but we simultaneously felt also that he was you know this temple is he's the guardian of this temple and and the devotees here and we felt also that he 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 is with us and and he he will stay with us and we will, will also see how this is going on here in this temple and to um, to leave with these wor words that yes Sila Ajayamaj has has a, has a very special and and and, and uh, in our heart and we are very grateful that we that he, he our guardian and and friend. Our life. Um, I can't really read, but can you read? Oh, yeah. This is a beautiful. Okay, this was, um, this was an, uh, a saying or a reader. Oh, this was in, this was what Sila uh, Bhaktini Malachayama said in the last uh, Zoom meeting. You were there. So I will uh, quote his saying. I can say to those of you who are helping and supporting my guru, who are serving Gurudev's temples, that I will always be with you. And I'm always with all of you too. Wherever I go, wherever I am, I will take you all with me. Even if I die, I will take you all with me. I don't know how long I will be alive in this world. Neither do you know how long you will stay in this world. But I will always be with you. I will always look after you. Yeah, very beautiful. That's, that was what he was saying on the last uh, Zoom meeting. And I think that's like a bit um, longer than a week ago. So we have with us Sripad uh, Mahayogi Maharaj here today, and uh, so I'd like to uh, ask him to speak something about Chila Acharya Maharaj. Let's bring him more into sense of that. Well, again, I must tell you, I'm just not going to say that I'm sorry to put that shot at you, my fucking name on a charge key, Jack. I'm pretty devastated, as many people are, many devotees are. Um, the loss of the gift of the, the loss of the disappearance from our immediate vision. Jayashin, I was going to have a ship of Charlie Dave. Um, actually, Dave has just read out something quite wonderful, you know, what's happened. It's been spoken by many devotees. Actually, Shiva Charlie Maharaj to me was uh, the personification of. Of the mercy of um, Lord Nityananda, and it's apt and appropriate in Nityananda's mercy that he um, will have his samadhi at Ekachapa Dam. Yes, Sri Guruvinda Maharaj said that the Charamad was an impossible man. Mm. Impossible. He meant it in a loving, affectionate, because he had such love for the Mott. Such love for the devotees and never took offense. He showed an incredible mercy in the face of great opposition and adversity in his brief time as a charity on mission. And I don't know how, how I'm going to go on without him, frankly. Jai Shri Bhakti Nimala Charge Maharaj Jai Jai Maharaj Thank you And uh, also just arrived uh, His Holiness Bhakti Swaru Pridandi Maharaj I'd like to ask him if he is willing to speak something Sorry, no. 
feel like that. you can mm. bring your... Oh. No, that won't work. Can't, you can't see him. Yes, I didn't know the time went very well. Personally, I was there when you first came to the mark and you leave. Um, we did uh, on a couple of programs preaching in Calcutta. Uh, but uh, yeah, he was also a very, very uh, determined person. He had a very strong uh, Mongol Mars in his chart. He had a coral ring, which you noticed. And he, you see, he was a very passionately driven person, a, a workaholic, you might even say that. So, uh, you know, as Shri Prabhupada, basically, like Leandra Swami, Maharaj said, I want to die in harness. That's kind of what he did, you know. <laughs> Went on just fully on full four cylinders all the way, right to the end. And uh, I told my brother, Jagannath Prabhu, just now, he's away down in uh, the West Country. And, uh, and his partner, Sandra, she, I said, can you, you know, say a prayer for me and everything? Immediately said a really nice prayer. She's very good at composing prayers for the And uh, she said, Oh Lord, uh, this holy man has passed away in India. Um, please accept him in heaven with you and give him comfort and rest and help all his followers in their needs at this time. Come for something. Amen. That's what I'm going to do. So, um, <clears throat> Actually, people at the moment will be a little bit in a state, state of shock and uh, very sudden things. So, I'll see how things will go on and develop. But we can definitely uh, pray to his grace wherever he is to remember us, those who are still here on earth. Um, incarcerated in the physical bodies here on earth. And the work we have to do to complete in our own life span, in our own life span. And um, definitely, as an only past, I'm sure you can do that. You will do that. And that message you gave at the end of the email was very nice as well. I don't know where that was from, but I thought that was great. You know, <clears throat> I'm always with you wherever I am. I don't know when I will leave or when you will leave, but we'll always be together. This is the moon we should have among the most of us. On the community. There's no separation really. Only only apparently externally in time and space. But in the in the real world, in the infinite world, there's no separation that way. So um, today we're remembering his holiness. And we've just hastily had to come together having this little memorial puja here. So I hope the roadies wherever they are. And whatever they're doing, to remember them this time you say, Jai, Bhakti Yamana, Chai, Jamaji, Jai. 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 Yeah, but you need to come near if you want to say something, because the, the um, microphone is not so great. But so speak, speak loudly. I try to my second left last speak up. Yeah, I carry my left last night suddenly, and it's unbelievable. But how did he leave? I mean, still he's been just for six years, like successor of Govinda Maharaj. He was a dynamic when he was closing for the. Uh, Position and uh, we still continue the story. Maybe he's left the body for officially be around, keeping eye on us. And services to maintain the safe. We keep doing the services. 
someone in the uh, amongst those who have uh, joined with us I would like to ask someone please to, to speak something please raise your hand and let me know that you are willing to speak I know it's a very uh, difficult time for everyone but we want to hear something from the vice now otherwise I'll have to start Singling people out. They're up to the order. One video, and they don't want to come to speak. They just want to be a All right. Um, so, someone, all right. Anupriya Didi, would you like to say something, please? Uh, my humble dhamma dhamma, from Vishnu Brad, Nimala Chari Maharaj, Kijai. It's a very difficult day for everybody. Uh, as you said, a very big shock for everybody. Um, and already what people have said that he's, he was uh, so dedicated and gave everyone so much enthusiasm. Um, especially, on, I mean, on his parikrams, it was a uh, you know, really, um, sorry, I, it's just a bit difficult today. Um, um, yes, he had so much love and inspiration and uh, really he was, you know, like a lion amongst the Vaishnavas. He was so, um, Like Marsh said, so he was like a you know workaholic. He never stopped serving and trying to engage others in service also. Um, and I hope that we can all carry on serving and you know um, being dedicated to our Guru Dave's mission. So um, sorry, I I don't have very good words to say today. I'm really apologise. Please forgive my offences. Manindra Prabhu, Krishna Kanta Didi, maybe you would like to say something? Are you there? Hello. Can you hear? Hello at all. Can you hear? Yes, Prabhu, yes. Don't be sad. Vaishnavas. Sharamaj joined Gurudev and continue his uh, super dynamic service 
as uh, we know, is a unique, impossible man. Can you hear me? Yes, bro. The impossible man. And, uh, he left so quick because this is his style. Very dynamic and quick in everything. And he didn't want to lose time in changing from material body to spiritual body. Not any gap in service. And uh, the problem is uh, in us that we lost his association. It's not in front of us as before, but for sure, he now has uh, got better body for Sir Good even more perfect even if possible, because he was already very, very perfect servant. He, he, he removed all the burden of the mission from Good and never forget. It was the only one. And now the mission in India, who knows? We'll see another year open, another era begins without a Charmaraj, no doubt. And uh, I always remember when he took me in a preaching tour, was one, one of my best time in my life. Village to village, going and preach, and invite people to Groponima and collect potatoes and rice in such a big scale that it was very, it's like military campaign, it would not stop all day collecting and in the night give lecture until 11 o'clock and then four o'clock in the morning, start again. After five days, I was practically dead and he was, would go on and I faint in the Tata Sumo for one, one day long and he would go on. Like, amazing, not, not ordinary. We all know that. And although I, I'm not really prepared to glorify him because today I really mentally was in totally different situation as all of us. And I will try to glorify him better in another time, but at least few words I wanna say, and he was always in our heart with his super energetic kirtan. When he start kirtan, everybody told him, you are not good singer, why you sing always, leads the kirtan. I don't care, I like to lead the kirtan. And later he become very, very nice kirtan leader. I, Love is Kirtan, super energetic and super inspiring. And what can I say? Krishna can't No, no, say no. So. I'll just describe what, what Yeah, we it's a loss for us actually. And I was thinking he was suffering so much and uh, fighting so much to try to please his guru to for the wellness of the mission and and kind of relief for him that he, he left the, the body. And uh, I mean, of course, not for us, but for him, then, then now he can fully serve uh, without any impediment, any limitation due to the health, health uh, situation of him. And uh, now he, I, he can dance and chant and, uh, you know, in association of Gurudev. And of course, we are left behind, and this is what is very sad. We're still here. We're still waking up in this material body, in this material world. But he is gone to join Shila Gurudev. And so we, we're happy for him. And we stay behind crying. This is the thing. So I, I mean, whatever Muninda said, I fully subscribe to the glory of Acharya Maharaj was very inspiring and never giving up. So, all glories to him and his service. Jai Shri Bhakti Maharaj. Acharya Maharaj.
I'm happy to hear from Vishaka and happy to see on such a head, sad occasion, it's happy to see all the Vaishnavas gathered here. So, my Dandava to all. Okay, then uh, who else would like to say something, please? I also see with us is our uh, Bhakti Kamal Tyagi Maharaj. Maharaj, if you are uh, willing, please you can speak something a few minutes. I don't know what pronouns. <clears throat> I'm saddened today, as I believe many devotees are, at this sudden loss. Um, I think especially yesterday I was speaking with Kamalendu Prabhu. He was calling me in tears from the ICU unit, and then I sort of got a hit of what was coming. But then in the evening, I got messages saying, oh, he's so much better. He's out of the ICU. We're so relieved. And I went to sleep last night thinking, okay, everything's fine, it's gonna pass. And then woke up to <laughs> more messages this morning. So it was a bit of an emotional up and down for me, if I just to cathartically <laughs> express my experience. Um, <laughs> um, but I also have some peace in my heart that uh, about three weeks ago, I had the chance to personally meet with Acharya Maharaj here in Brindavan. And we had a very warm hearted meeting and it was very valuable for me to have that exchange with him and to see his unwavering affection. And Um, to see his uh, breadth of heart. So it is a great loss for our community and uh, especially for the devotees who have been there and been in the thick of it with him over the recent years. My heart really goes out to Kamalendu and Sudevi and Sadhu Maharaj and <laughs> the other people who've been with him in the recent times and I felt some relief today to be able to help write some letters to the officials to help release the body and other things like that. And I, you know, in the long term, I believe everyone will be blessed and see the beauty and the uh, grace that's come through all of these events that unfold in our life and our aspiration to serve Guru and Guranga. But days like this are especially challenging and bring out some, uh, you know, ups and downs of emotions. But on the whole, as we've heard devotees nicely recount, we know that Srila Charja Maharaj's spirit was a very bold spirit, a confident spirit, a perseverant spirit. And, you know, we know also that he wasn't such a fan of so much emotionality I can recall many times devotees in tears in front of him and him discreetly casting at me an eye contact glance, like a little bit laughing or a little bit like, oh, what is all this eye water and these kind of things. So we know he was not a not one for uh, what he sometimes called crocodile tears and things like that. He liked that people proved their character through their dedication more so than their flowery words or their displays of emotion. And he certainly embodied that in his life and in his uh, all-rounded and 
abounding service in all forms to Srila Gurudev and to all the devotees. So he is well on his way to his Swasadhanochit Dham, as it is called. So we have only, uh, you know, happiness to think of his bright future. But as others have expressed, it is a sadness for us at his loss. And we hope that by devotees remembering all the beautiful things that they've learned from him, that uh, they can carry on as is desired in their spiritual path in the service of Guru and Guranga. So my pranams to all the devotees here today. Jai. So, anybody else would like to speak something before we do some Guru Puja? Now is your opportunity. If I may just say something briefly. Yes, of course. So, um, as Jackie Maharaj was alluding to, uh, Shiva Charidev was a very bold character and was very much a man of substance and action rather than words, which is very much the opposite of myself. But I remember one of the first darshans I was in with Shula Charidev and hearing himself, sorry, hearing him describe himself as like meat. He said, I'm a little bitter to digest. And he said that with a smile on his face as he knew his character and that maybe some people cannot handle uh, a straightforward uh, nature that he had. Um, but underneath that, uh, if you saw him a little more, you would see that he, not, he wanted nothing more than to please the devotees, to serve the devotees and he loved them all very much. And it is with that sort of nature that I think we can all look at ourselves and really try to digest how we can follow in his actions rather than his I think I inadvertently muted you, Christian Christopher, so please excuse me. No, it's probably appropriate for this, so um, we shall leave it at that. But, you know, my humble pronouns to you all, and that if we can all take one step in the direction of that attitude of Srila Charidev towards serving Srila Gurudev and the mission, then we'll all be very successful in our lives. Jai Shri Bhakti Nimala Charja Maharaj Ki Jai So any other before now we can do Guru Puja but if anyone wants to speak before then please you know, be, make yourself known now Nanda pronouns. Uh, I just want to say very quickly that um, 
that uh, the year that I spent near Shula Charitiv, I was so happy. And even though like you could think that materially it was very austere and very simple life, but um, his association was so valuable and just seeing his service and you know how he took care of everyone and he took care of all of us just like his, his children and his daughters or his sons and from the moment I met him in Venezuela I felt that kind of shelter and also a lot of inspiration because he was so his way of preaching was very strong and he could like take you with him, like, you know, kind of like a wave that comes and can take you very strongly and into service and serving his Gurudev and learning more about what surrender and devotion is. So I just wanted to say that and that I'm so happy to have had that opportunity and happy to see all the devotees. Hi. Guru Nitai Chan, Guru, your mic is uh, unmuted, so I believe that means you'd like to say something to us. Uh, yeah, I, I uh, accidentally uh, somehow like got out of the Zoom and then had to reconnect there, and my mic was uh, unmuted by accident. But um, I did want to say something. Um, discovering up the courage to say something. Um, so. I woke up this morning, it was really late because I've been working quite a lot and uh, I was just totally bewildered this morning when I woke up and I saw the news. Um, I thought I was still dreaming, you know, I just I was like, wow, unbelievable. Um, and... It was um, it was very shocking for myself and I'm sure all the other devote all the devotees in in the community uh, worldwide. Uh, but after just you know some meditation on. What Acharya Maharaj, um, one of the last conversations I had with Acharya Maharaj was a month or so ago. Personally on the phone, I spoke to him. And um, which in itself is another thing because, you know, I, I, didn't even, I didn't even think that I could call him and he would just pick up the phone like that. But he did. And... Um, he was so merciful to me and um, oh. Oh. looks like you've frozen out there Nitai Chan Pru. Um, maybe you lost your connection again yeah. I think so Anyhow, till, until he is able to come back. Anyone else wants to ask something? Or speak something? Yeah, so I, I, um, I was sad because... <laughs> Uh, sadly, we lost Nitai Chandra again for the second time. Um, no time. We don't know when we're going, and therefore we have to take every single opportunity in our in our life, in our existence, to serve the Guru, to serve the Vaishnavas, 
to serve you know Mahaprabhu, Radha and Krishna and you know we cannot forget that no matter what happens we have to stay strong stay focused and carry on serving so I can't fold my hands right now because I'm holding the phone um, but I am mentally hot. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no. This is so to everyone. Um, but um, yeah, Dhanavats to everyone. And I don't know what else to say except for we'll see you all soon. And It was a very sad day, but I'm sure you know we can all continue together to serve, serve the guru, serve Vaishnava. And I don't know what else to say. Dhanavad, 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 Nitai Jan, Dhanavad Guru Nidhi. Okay. Ananta Govinda Prabhu, would you like to speak something? Dandava, well, really, I don't know what to say in an occasion like this, because it's a very sad day for us, and, well, we have to keep going, and now this is a, a test, a very hard test that we have, that now we have to try to realize what we listen from our gurus and we read in the scriptures, to be more humble, more tolerant, give respect to others, keep going with the heart to heart transaction between all the Vaisnavas and keep going on. That's it. Beautiful, bro. Thank you. Yes, I would like to say something. It would be very good. And um, yeah, it's um, yeah, it's a very, very difficult, difficult day for the Zavoti family. Um, obviously, um, when it highly amazing Vaishnav like Srila Charya Maharaj and disappear from this world. It can feel a little bit like the clouds covering the sun a little bit sometimes. But um, in a way, I always um, see it like it's an opportunity to see his present and good as present not just on on him and his service, but also on the Vaishnav. Um, and I feel like that more and more lately, like um, we are so fortunate, like we at least even in, in a lockdown and even like we are all over the world, we have the opportunity to have these and not be alone and um, have the association with the devotees. And, um, I feel like it's a, another um, kind of like a wake up call that it, it, it was suddenly, but life is like that, you know? We don't have that much time and we don't know when, for how long we're gonna be here and how long we have. So it's like, for me, it's a very Sri Lacharya Maharaj thing to do, you know? He was always like, um, always telling us, don't waste your time. Don't waste your time. You don't know how long you have. As um, Saraswati and Sachi Didi were reading, um, the last uh, Zoom call uh, he did, it was basically that. And um, I just feel fortunate to have the association of the devotees. And, and yeah, I just, I don't know. Did you want to say something, Anjali? Yeah. Hello, everybody. I don't really know what to say. 
four o'clock this morning, Krishnavanda came into my room and broke the news that Tacharya Dev had passed away with a heart attack in hospital. I was fortunate enough to spend quite a lot of time from time to time, Gorobani, the time when I was in Nadi. And I spoke to him, I don't know, just before or just after Gorapanima, I, I can't remember exactly, on the phone. And I said how sad I was with the situation. I was unable to go. I used to really relish the parikrams with him. Um, it's one of the sweetest memories I have. And of course, this awful business that we're all trying to deal with is preventing travel. So I, I couldn't, oh, I couldn't go with the dogs. So I, I was saying how, how really sad I was and that I, I couldn't go. And I'm getting old myself. So it's true, we don't know how long we have uh, in this world. <laughs> Every, everything's moving around me now. So I, it's very, very sad and very, very shocking. And it's, um, you know, it's a spear in the heart with our mission, you know, that there's such a treasure and how we will pick up the pieces and how it will continue to flow so sweetly uh, in the world. Now the deep being the, the center of all so, um, we have each other, we're uh, a, a, a very close-knit, lovely family, and we're so grateful for that. Wonderful, wonderful devotees we have with us in this life right now. Um, it's just a very, very sad day and, and a, a big shock, you know. And he did so much, you know, like I couldn't, how he did what he did, you know, and how he, with full verve and full desire, you know, to continue all these temples, everything arranged, and suddenly no one could go there. You know, it's just a tragedy, the whole thing. It's like, so very sad. So, um, I, That's all I can, I shut up now. <laughs> and that's Thunderbolt. We have here Lalita Madhav who just arrived. Yes, good. Lalita Madhav Prabhu, you like to speak something? A few minutes, please. Obeisances to all the devotees. Um, very um, very intense. <laughs> so, so a very shocking day, uh, and feeling for everyone who's been so very uh, very. Frankly, just uh, praying, praying for them. Yeah, the, the mission as a whole, really. Um, it's, it's, it, uh, yeah, I remember in the in the in, in the uh, months and uh, immediate sort of time off, just after Sri Guru disappeared, um, going to India and. Uh, 
point in coming to that, that kind of need. I remember at that time, sort of, with all the things that were taking place in London, um, just finding so much, uh, I don't know, solace in the fact that Srila Acharya Maharaj was around. He was, he was, uh, yeah, he was very kindly guiding us as to how to proceed, just in a very sort of practical way over here. Um, the fact is, I couldn't personally. I wasn't able to. I think sort of step up to, you know, uh, sort of what he wanted, um, but um, yeah, he was just absolutely <laughs> sort of, you know, I remember him asking me where I was going when I was coming back, and I was, I was starting starting my PhD, and uh, his response at the time was, "Does uh, uh, Shrimati Radha need to go to Oxford?" To learn how to love Krishna, <laughs> so, but no, no, Maharaj, I couldn't, I couldn't quite live up to that. He was uh, not so, yeah. Um, and I mean, the fact of the matter is, I've been fairly out of things for for quite a few years, so I'm not really in the, not really in the flow. I'm not, not, not so much in the current to speak with so much sort of realization. But I, I, you know, from from the sidelines, been witnessing what's been going on and cannot but always whenever I've seen Srila Acharya Maharaj's and you know just absolute resolute focus and the, just the sort of dynamo of energy it's been it's yeah it was can't but sort of be in awe of that um, the, the other thing I can share personally is that when we were um, deciphering the pranam mantra of Srila Acharya Maharaj that uh, that Sri Lai Guru Dev, that that uh, we were told that Sri Lai Guru Dev, uh, left behind for uh, for the glorification of Sri Lai Charge Maharaj. That was a that was a very that was an interesting experience. Um, it's, uh, it's, I remember like this Puja Sri Guru Bhagavan the Mahabhav the Dayasada. This the, the, the how he's. It, it was it was a very interesting glorification. What, what's that? Oh, it's, it's the rhythm, of course. Yeah, the alliteration, but also just the concept, just the concept of it, and that it was a glorification ultimately of the current, and you know that 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 stems from Shrimati Radharani, and is now taking the form of a nirjana, a great cascade or waterfall, um, and that he is the he was the nubhutam samrakshakam saradam. Uh, the, you know, the, uh, translated in various ways, but when we were looking at the word nivrita, actually, if you look it up, literally, I found this very interesting. It means sort of solitary or isolated or from a secret place or something. There was some, I, I found that quite an interesting, you know, in, 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 in light of all the things that were that were happening, that be happening in the Mart, or he says Gurudev's vision of that, that this very glorious thing that Srila Acharya Maharaj was protecting, but he was having to do it in a, you know, in a, <laughs> in, a in a sort of yeah, solitary way almost. Um, yeah, that's uh, anyways, I I yeah, I, I just <laughs> again offer everyone my obeisances. I and um, yeah, I, I pray to Sri Da Acharya Maharaj that he may forgive me for being so out of it and not having been able to, you know, or not or choosing not to, you know, step up and you know give my energy in the way that I know that he that he modeled for us, you know, to Sri Da Guru Dev that that uh, really that will sort of be the, the deep imprint that he left. That he leaves in 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 in, uh, in my heart, um, and uh, yeah, and I uh, just pray for the for the unity of the mission going forward, and that we find harmony because we know that this the aftermath of the you know disappearance of the great personalities they they leave complications <laughs> naturally we're told you know in the wake of that, and I and I and I pray very much that we. 
that we're able to come together and, you know, comfort one another and find harmony, you know, and uh, yeah, keep going in the service of our of our beloved Guru Devs. So, um, Jai Srila Acharya Maharaj, Jai, Jai to all the devotees. Um, yeah, thank you very much. I just wanted to say that now more than ever we should be together, just like you said, mm -hmm. be together for the service of Shuddha Gurdas mission and with that mood of Shuddha Charyamara's enthusiasm, we should mm -hmm. keep it and proceed. Yeah. yeah. Oh, but, okay. well, one yes. last thing, that just from the recent things that I heard through other devotees, but uh, a very wonderful teaching actually that Srila Srila Acharya Maharaj was saying that Gurudev was telling him, if you want to do big things then keep your mind away from the little things from you know from not you know the, the little you know the, the, these small minded things like that you want to achieve big things and really i thought that that's a, that was a yeah i think a very important message for for the community as a whole for me personally <laughs> that's, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyone else wants to speak something? A few minutes. Then remembering uh, remembering uh, the words of Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur. He reasons ill. He says that Vaishnavas die. Whilst thou art living still in sound, Vaishnavas die to live, and living try to spread the holy name around. For this we can remember that uh, by really by following the order of Sri Gurudev, we are with Sri Gurudev. And uh, this is our association is always through that. And uh, who... Srila Govinda Maharaj said, if you are able to uh, meditate on that person perfectly, you will be with that person. And the perfect type of meditation is to be uh, always engaged in seva and always to be um, fixed in our conception that we got from our Gurudev. So in, when we are thinking uh, the heartbreak that the disciples and the followers of uh, Srila Acharya Maharaj feeling. But we should, we should remember, everyone should remember what they received from him. The holy name of the Lord, the association of the Vaishnavas, the divine service of our Sri Chaitanya Sarasat Mot and Mission. And, and if we see his example, that he is never resting. He is never resting uh, for a moment, always going, uh, service, 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 service. So much so that it's almost uh, impossible for anyone to keep up with him. Actually, that's the truth. And we, so we believe, you know, by the will of the Supreme Lord, he's been called to the uh, service of his Sri Guru Dev in Goloka Vrindavan, where that non-stop service will continue for eternity. So we are, although we are saddened to lose his uh, association um, because we are you know, left behind, so to say, but we can, we should take solace in the fact that we can associate with him by following his instruction, by following his teaching, by following uh, what he wanted to give to the world, which is the the divine wealth and conception of Srila Bhakti Rakak Sri Dev Goswami Maharaj. If we are able to uh, appreciate that in some way, then we will not be we will not be bereft of his association. Srila, uh, tomorrow is the dis, uh, the appearance day of Gadadha Pandit. And uh, we've heard from Guru Maharaj, the Gadadha Pandit said, there is no pain in this world except the pain of separation from the Vaishnava. 
So we should always try uh, to think where is the Vaishnava and how will we find uh, where will we find our Guru Dev? And that will be uh, down to our own uh, hankering, to our own sincere seeking because we are not, it is not that it is finished once we come to the lotus feet of Sri Guru Dev. It is not that it is finished. It is the beginning, actually, the beginning of the real connection with Krishna and Krishna consciousness. From the baby steps to the to the ultimate prayojana of prema bhakti. That is, we have to be uh, resolute in our um, campaign that we are prepared to do whatever is necessary to attain that uh, highest goal. And really the simple way is to uh, garner the affection of the Vaishnavas, those who already have that. If we are able to, just to get their affectionate uh, connection, then everything is, will be very easy for us, actually. And, uh, and we see, as so many devotees have told already, that, you know, Srila Gurudev, uh, Srila Acharya Maharaj, he showed so much affection to the Vaishnavas. So much. We see that, you know, that uh, in, in spite of everything, he wants to serve the Vaishnavas. Even the, even the Vaishnavas that are uh, opposed to him, he's giving shelter to them. What kind of extraordinary Vaishnava is that? So we are we are deeply saddened by uh, his departure so um, quickly, as so many have said, without any warning. Just you know, it is very much in his style to do like that. He's he's a get up and go man, and this is what he's done. And uh, so, it, of course, it is sad, and of course, it is. Um, difficult for us, but we should also be happy that now he is with Srila Gurudev in eternity and uh, rendering service at his lotus feet, which is all he aspired for. So we are um, remembering him today. We will now, we can do some Guru Puja, and if anyone wishes to remain online, that it's nice. Maybe you will be doing your own Guru Puja where you are. But we shall do that, and then uh, we will um, have our RT here, and then honor uh, Mahaprasad in his memory. And we will keep his, uh, um, for those devotees who can't join today, but may want to join through the week, we will keep his uh, uh, place on the, his special asana, and the devotees can come to offer their prayers and condolences and be with uh, be with him uh, in that way. Uh, and we should also be with each other because that is how we, uh, that is how we overcome the difficulties in Krishna consciousness by association. And uh, as Srila Gurudev said, the la his uh, first, one of the first lessons from Gurudev, serve the Vaishnavas without envy. Nirmatsaranam, that is the word, means not to have any envy towards any Vaishnava and any bad feeling towards any Vaishnava. We should try um, to serve in that way. We should try to see the good qualities of all the Vaishnavas in that way, as Srila Acharya Maharaj did. So we'll uh, close our uh, meeting today now with Guru Puja. Jayam Vishnupad, Srila Bhakti Nirmala Acharya Maharaj, Kichar.
Acharya Sako Thank you. 
Kula Churamani Sahaba Shastra Siddhanta Vip, Ananta Sri Vibhushita, Kula Bhakti Rakap Sri Dadev Goswami Maharaj Ji Jai, Jai Nitya Leela Pravishno Mishnupad, Paramahamsa Padibrad Dagacharya Vajat, Sautara Sutta Sri Srimad, Bhagavan Sri Labhakti Siddhanta Sarga Sita Kurti Jai, Nitya Leela Pravishno Mishnupad, Srila Goki Chodas Pavati Maharaj Ji Jai, Nitya Leela Pravishno Mishnupad, Sila Satchita Ananda Bhakti Vinayak Thakur Ki Jai, Nitya Leela Pravishno Mishnupad, Vaishnava Sarva Bhauma Sila Jagannatha Pavati Maharaj Ji Jai, Rupa Nuga Guru Bhagya Ki Jai, Nama Chajya Shlohrida Thakur Ki Jai, Jai Rupa Sanatana Bhakti Raghunath, Sri Jeeva Gopala Bhattadatraganan Saito Shami Prabhu Ki Jai, Saparshada Sri Man Mahaprabhu Ki Jai, Sarup Damada Ramananda Rai Ki Jai, Jai Vishwavaranya Om Vishnupad, Sila Eshi Bhaktivedanta Swami Maharaj Prabhupad Ki Jai, Prem Chikaho Sri Krishna Chaitanya, Prabhu Nityananda Sri Adwaita Gadaha, Sri Bhata Vishri Guru Bhakta Vrinda Ki Jai, Rosa Sri Govardhan Shama Kunda Radha Kunda Kalim Ji Jamuna Ji Ki Jai, Sri Mati Ganga Mahi Ki Jai, Sri Mati Tosi Maharani Ki Jai, Sri Govinda Kunda Ki Jai, Sri Kola Dhrid Navadhrid Dham Ki Jai, Sri Paniya Dham Ki Jai, Sri Bhaman Pada Dham Ki Jai, Vraja Mandal Sri Vrindaman Dham Ki Jai, Sri Parashal Samakestra Dham Ki Jai, Balaram Subhadra Jagannath Ki Ol Ki Jai, Bhakti Vingna Vanasana Sri Nara Singha Dev Ki Jai, Bhakta Pramaha Sri Palad Maharaj Ki Jai, Grantha Raj Sri Mad Bhagavad Sri Chaitanya Charitamra Ki Jai, Akarmata Raj Sri Chaitanya Mat Ki Jai, Navadit Sri Chaitanya Saradatta Mat Ki Jai, London Sri Chaitanya Saradatta Mat Ki Jai, Kadiya Shaka Mat Ki Jai, Kadiya Vaishnava Vrinda Ki Jai, Sri Chaitanya Saradatta Acharya Vrinda Ki Jai, Sri Dandi Vrinda Ki Jai, Kol Kartel Ki Jai, Sri Harinama Sankirtan Ki Jai, Anita Gaura Pranande Haribo. Vajra Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Adaita Gadadhara Sri Basadi Gaura Bhakta Vrinda Sriya Adaita Gadadhara Sri Vasadi Gaura Bhakta Vrinda Dasamati Nanda Nagaraja Vana Nagara Okula Ranjana Kana Dasamati Nanda Gopi 
Come on. 